Hey yo, it's Austin. Jesus, finally back at it again. Ugh, with episode 5, baby. Ready to get back into it for the second to last time. Thought it was going to be the last time. I tried to find a three hour slot, couldn't do it. So we're just going to play it in two hour and a half slots. Just to make it easier on myself. Oh, uh, here we go. Have we let, have we remember the last one? Oh yeah, we fought Church Lady, kind of. We fought her by uh, getting punched a solid uh, ten times. We're getting we're getting sucker punched. My God, there's the the wall, the Great Wall. And Mexico will pay for the wall. Jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home rear mm. by their papa wolf. That is, that is some stuff. Okay. Until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning. How to live on their own. Years. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. True. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world. Squad. Seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. Yeah, I saw on a replay that there was actually glass in his eye. I didn't even catch that the first time. But when he finally escaped, he went to search. Probably blatantly for obvious. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote call. Suddenly, their mother showed up after all that time. She said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So the little brother got so angry, he killed him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure I was part of the minority that actually killed her. I'm pretty sure most people found a way to uh, not kill her. What a great story. Nice speech. It's the last time we'll hear that, I think. Choose wisely. Ah, I wish I could say I've done a good job of that so far, but, uh, yeah, that's probably not true. Where are we, Arizona? Is this the Grand Canyon? Oh, wow. Seven weeks. It's a nice cactus. Ooh, a scorpion. Don't tell me we're just walking out here right now. We're just, just walking. Oh, there's a scorpion again. Very cool. 
We're just sleeping on the con... No, well, not the concrete. We're just sleeping on the rocks. The hard, hot sand. Hey. Wake up, Sean. <sighs> Dude, come on. What? What time is it? I got a whole beer. It's so beautiful. Check it out. Oh, we're sleeping that close to a cliff, bro? Yo, Daniel, you making me kind of nervous, low key. <laughs> so? Yeah, okay. Good call. your eye okay yeah it just itches it's okay Nana. I promise yeah just kidding there's no why there Lamal I love you no matter what happens you hear me yeah I love you too XQCL. Are we doing this again? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh baby. <laughs> it's daytime. What are y'all freaks doing? No. <laughs> okay. DX Brothers. Always. Easy. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I guess I don't feel that bad about what I did. Maybe that's bad. It is bad. It and her or us. <laughs> it was her or us. You did what you had to do, and I know. I know. She was so nice at first. Nobody can tell me what to do with my power, especially her. Yeah, but with great power, you know the drill. I know, I know. I'll be careful. Don't worry. Sean, are we criminals now? There. Thank you. 
golly gee that uh <laughs> that phone call took a little bit longer than expected um kind of sort of i'll keep it straight up you did a lot of illegal shit the cops catch us we'll be judged for what we did that's for sure i won't let them get us well we're almost at the border Come south of the border like with me. But we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Aren't you too old? Oh. Okay, whatever. Up. Oh. Yeah, I can tell you forever since we left off way too long hmm let's see oh yeah okay so thanks to their mama wolf the wolf brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult she left them to her secret lair deep in the red desert the wolf brothers rested for a while but at some point They'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination lied the evil chupacabra, and they would have to fight it together. Uh, um, excuse me, who's telling the story? The evil yeah, chupacabra. But it's my story too. Wrong, wrong. This is mine! Dude, this is my version. You can make your own. True. Okay. Right. Cool. <laughs> I don't even know why I said that. I probably shouldn't have even said so, that. I just wanted to go wrong. The Wolf Brothers. Wrong. Finally see the edge of their new home. Okay, okay. I gotta think of my own version first. So you don't influence me. Haha. <laughs> Okay, Stephen King Jr. What's well, a stupid Jedi. little choice just to impact the entire ending of the game? Shit up and head back to town. Head back to town. We gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. Jesus, that is like delayed. This Look at this. That, oh my god. Pack the sketch. Oh no, draw! G hey, get it out. <laughs> Just tell me what you want to put in there. Wrong. You can't help a little boy. <laughs> oh, wait, I could just go down. Bro, I want to draw. Coming. Whatever. Telescope. Flashlight. Flashlight. Whatever. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. A moon eclipse? We just move here. Yo, Captain Can. Can you take these away? Sure. Can, can. Perfect formation. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Slow no, out. Jeez. You're no fun. Yeah, kind of. We're all serious in this business. Of course not. On the way. Piglin business. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah. Right. 
Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What the fuck, dude? Don't do that. What's wrong? Stop messing with it, man. What's the big deal? Look. Seriously? What did you do that for? <sighs> Whatever. That thing could sting us to death. So what? You just torture it? <sighs> Jeez. Dude, I didn't even kill it. I was just goofing around. Let's just head out now. Okay, uh, 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 yeah, I don't know. I, that was the first thing I thought. I thought I was gonna sting him, so I thought I, I would give the, uh. Stars. Or any. <laughs> how did the tone just switch like that? Uh. Hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. We're going. Oh. Who was that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool. Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. <laughs> yeah. These guys are real cool. Or Arthur and Stanley. What a great view. Amazing. Discuss. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well, oh, uh, good question. I think Joanne will let me help her with the sculpture when we get back. Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not hide it. Yeah. Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Karen. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? Because it's just another day in the office. Getting down, dude. Okay, well. I got this. Uh, see, easy peasy. Until you fall. Out. Lemon yeah, squeezy. But I didn't. Oh, look. Looks like a job for our local super yeah. psychic boy. Cool baby lizard. Yeah, and you scared it. I know. Come on, Daniel, go punk these rocks off the edge. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. Golly. Two! <laughs> ah, thank you. Look at our little colony. Is this the intro already? How it w th So, okay. Yeah, so we had like a 20 minute intro in this, in this episode. But legit, the, f the last episode, the fourth one. That one was like an hour. That one was like half the, <laughs> the intro was like half the episode. <laughs> what in the world? Genji, is that you? Go for it. 
have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Did you just put that telescope in your pocket? What a what an absolute animal. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read. Ten four. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Whatever. Joanne has waffles. Over and out. Ten four. No flying pancakes today. Group picture. They all finally found their home. Squad. That's how the homies be rolling up. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. See the one on the left. Okay. Hard times. I see what you're doing. Karen must have been so excited to finally hit New York. Fly by night, not by fright. Into the big city bright. Stop. That cliche never dying in the steel of the buildings. The warp of the street. But no matter what or where I spin, the pool of a million dead poets takes me to dance once again. Go. But this time I get to lead until the next flight. That is uh, true poetic. Just masterpiece. She's really good at rewriting her own life. I don't want to read this. This one's pretty intense. I think I get it. USB. This isn't that a pen drive? Let's eat some pancakes. Actually, before we do that. Let's tidy up the place. Why is this bed so, like, nice? Snake clamp. I wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the toilet last week. That's uh pretty disheartening. I totally forgot about that key. Whoa. I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. Hey Dad. Feels bad. Lila always knew how to crack me up. And it Whoa. I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. Whoa. Lila always knew how to crack me up. There's nothing. Whatever, I guess. I had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. <laughs> Karen's a real pirate guy. seeds. Brody's so good at describing painful situations and seeing the good into it. Jesus.
Good job, Brody. Will we ever see Brody again? Probably unlikely. Hmm. Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. We are the champions, my friend. Why did I just do that? Okay, whatever. <laughs> what is my what is my goal here? Oh, it's uh Where where do these dudes even go? I don't know where the <laughs> This place, I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. <laughs> Literally. What are you? We helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. Very cool. I love the end. <sighs> with everyone building stuff as they please. Is this where Daniel is? What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That child is something special. Yeah. Finally, you have good authority. Don't worry. Not Finn, who's trying to get you killed. Not greedy old church lady. Elizabeth. God, Christ. Talent. Thanks. But I still have a lot to learn. Of course you do. Oh yeah, you got got to keep it humble. Think they know everything. It's okay to not know stuff. Don't worry so much about the outcome. An artist has to take a leap of faith about every other week. So why are you all the way out here now? <laughs> Easy. I started selling my work for good money. And as soon as I did, everyone turned into smiling sharks. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. <laughs> it's not always easy. But in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. <laughs> yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? Cool. Okay. Sure. Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next three books, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. True. Let's do this. Uh, what's the bottom again? Fat ball. Okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup. I said dunk, you stupid idiot. No. <laughs> Now, let's throw on that spider. Check it out. The 
careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. Totally. <laughs> Easy. And we'll keep on fighting till the end. Almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. You did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. But there's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. <sighs> that was fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. That's what makes her talent. I bet you would like Minecraft. It, it's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a video game, right? Yes. And you can build whatever you want in it. Ooh, you have to show me then. Precarious patriot shrouded in dust. Cool. Minecraft! Bloated politics. Gee, you hate it. You hey, okay, weirdo. Yeah, as fine as frogs here, sweetie. I, I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Uh, it helps me connect with it cool well thanks for letting me be a part of it oh thank you sean see you around hun all right well smile no matter what happened before Karen did hook us up here. That counts. Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> What a weird thing to do. I should bring the telescope back to Art and Stan before I forget. I don't know where that is. Is it this? This no. is such a weird fucking place. But that's what's cool about it. Anyone in there? Where is your bed at? Okay, whatever. This part of town is dead this time of year. Okay, whatever. Let's just stay around here. Oh, is this a house? Oh. Morning, What's up, Charles. Stanley and Morning, Arthur? Guys. Hey. What's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And just free. Thanks so much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <laughs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. 
It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. And can you be here long after we're gone? Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Why you sound so... <laughs> from her mom. That sounds cool, but we gotta be leaving soon. We still have a ways to go. Technically, you're already in a way. I get it, you still have to find your home. We were lucky. And old enough to find ours here. So, don't you ever get bored? Being out here is a big change. We do sometimes. We're in the desert. I miss the parks, cafes, shopping. But this place is something else. And we feel safe out here. If you could have seen me as a family man a few years ago, I had everything but nothing. Now I have nothing but everything. Thanks to this one. After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just uh. so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> Sheesh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna hang around before it gets too hot. Thanks for the desert, Brew. Hmm. These two remind me of Claire and Steven in a weird hippie version. You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Uh, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. Yeah, I feel that. Uh... Yeah, I'll tell them. Oh, really? Even though I, did, I, I really didn't mean to do that. At the farm? Dude! N no way! Dude, I wouldn't lie to you about it. Nah. It's super cool. I just wish you would have told me you were in there. You don't have to know everything. <sighs> ah! So mad about that decision. That quote decision didn't even mean to do it. Whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> Super Wolf to LTS Blow Loco. Copy. I hit something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? No, freak. 10-4. Okay. You're on it, I know. Yes. Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So for the first item as near the place with many wings. That cannot fly. That, that's it. That's your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. Oh. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside. It's no. close. Easy. God gamer alert. And that looks like an ace of spades. What, what, what am I looking at? Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other party. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the step. 
Past it. It's like over here. Where? Oh, there they are. I'm a genius. Doesn't matter. Tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Ahoy, matey! I think I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain! Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you don't dig? Where's the <laughs> intersection? There's like a four way intersection. You're in the middle zone. Yeah. But if this is here, then it's like over here. With a bunch of cars. Not too far. Warm. Just oh. Here. Pick it up! Ooh. No. Looks like something's buried here. Was that a gold a balloon? Is that a key? Yes. I think I have found a hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah. I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Was that a Fortnite dance? I don't know what that was that he was doing up there. <laughs> yeah. for it. I don't know what in the world. <laughs> I don't know what they just did, but it was probably a Fortnite dance. <laughs> um, okay. Why would I want to check the map again? Man, that kid really got into his treasure hunt. Okay. Yes, okay. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. Where's she coming from? Oh, what's up, Big Chief? I could get used to that scene. Yes, yeah, no. Excuse me, Water Boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Oh yeah, we can grow a lot of stuff there. Trust me, I know. 
gotta change these water tanks one day. Looks like Karen is back from town. Maybe she needs my help. Still fitter than us. Okay, seems like a season. Hey, what's up? Sup, boys? Good morning. I'm sorry, and girl, Howdy, boy, Sean. and girl. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> The deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. <laughs> hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? Too cold in the desert. It was amazing. Wrong. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it. Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life gets ran sucks. over. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes. Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play, but I'm way better now. Okay, cheater. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. Yeah, Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. <laughs> nah. Been a while since Daniel's been afraid of animals or anything. He knows he's the bigger threat. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month, and I still can't get over Daniel's <sighs> skills. Me neither. Me neither. But I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. That kind of power is dangerous, Sean. He's a walking weapon. Never met someone with a superpower before. I try and be a good influence, but our bond is complicated. We're brothers. Maybe I even fucked him up more. Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. Oh. You didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Or, in her case, a step douche. <laughs> I'm divorced now. But I never had the chance to do the right thing for my stepdaughter before she died. We were like oil and water. She was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. Anyway, you can't go back. <laughs> nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. <sighs> okay, time out. Oh my God, I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> okay. We're not done out here yet. Are you threatening my masculinity, <laughs> Daniel? No problem. Try me, small fry, four weird buff. She is so cool. You think? Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy. Look at this dude flexing on me. Can you believe the audacity of this guy?
put my crown. Oh yeah, I gotta eat. One thing Claire and Karen have in common. Their love for pancakes. A new statue? What are you doing? That woman Wh is amazing. Do my god, Sean, you're an animal. You just pick up that stack of pancakes and eat it like a cheeseburger. <laughs> it feels like a what in the fucking trailer? What? Five degrees out here. <sighs> I have to admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather sometimes. Yeah, I bet. You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? This place is like another world. I don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> I think you just did. It has a unique atmosphere. That's why people come here from all over the country. For their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart. I couldn't live here for too long. It feels uh, disconnected. Maybe I'm too young. <laughs> oh, I understand. It's not a starting point. It's more a place to sit back and let go. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. By the way, can you grab your evil little bro so we can all talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, head four. Oh, uh, this doesn't seem like good news. Okay, she looks guilty or something. Well, not guilty, but like. Hola, compadre. Stressed. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. We'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Yeah. I'm eat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <sighs> Slow down more. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. <sighs> Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. It's so big. And pretty. And so quiet. Except for the birds of prey. Wolf. Better be careful of 
hunters out here. No. The hunters better be careful of super women. Alpha. All the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Danny. So let's hurry up. Isn't this where we slept? I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. It's the best spot. Let's sit down. So, hey, I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. You actually helped us. Gave us a place to recharge and lay low. No kidding. I was so beat down after Haven Point. I know. This is the best place to take some time for yourself. You don't get that chance. Well, it wouldn't be an awesome stream if, if I didn't have to go Just pee. Know. So, you know what? That's what we're going to go do. I'm going to go pee. And we're back. Let's get back I love both of you so much. Just splash my face with water because I'm feeling a bit tired. But it'll be better when you're settled. Karen. 
be honest. Do you think we'll make it to Mexico? <laughs> you made it this far. Going through hell. I hope so, Sean. You both deserve it. But... I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well... Figures. This can last forever. So... This is it? See you then. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things. Where are they? Oh, it's like the lanterns. Like the little blow up lanterns. Isn't this like a. I don't know what it's called, but like Day of the Dead? Isn't this like the lanterns they used? I just somebody walked up on us like, oh my god, uh, I, 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 uh, what's the word I'm looking for, like, the devil, it's the devil, it's like some, uh, I was about to say tattletale, but that doesn't really make sense. That's for the three guys we've killed in the in the game. Wait, is it three? Because uh, frick. Um, God, I'm having a. Ugh, I'm struggling. We killed the first police officer. We killed uh, Lisbeth. And uh, yeah, everything back I can't remember at that point. Because <laughs> I started this game in, like, August, and now it's October, so. D A N C E. I don't know. I don't know how the song goes. That song I was playing that uh, was in episode three. Yeah, I don't know how that. <laughs> I don't know how that goes. I just imagine that playing. Set up to leave. No. So that's we have to leave again. Why can't everybody leave us alone? Oh, honey. We kind of got two people on the kill count, so, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of hard. Two people on the kill count, a couple more injured. Given we were usually attacked. Actually, I think in every single one of them we were attacked. But, I don't know, bro, self-defense is illegal. <laughs> 
cops are after me too. For what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. That's bullshit, Mom. Don't. Cut. Don't. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. You don't have to do this, Karen. I let you guys down before. Not this time. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. You have to stay true to yourselves. But it's hard when somebody or something gets in the way. It can get ugly. You have to find some sort of balance. Fuck the rules. We'll do whatever we can to survive. We already did. I know. You did what you had to, to protect your brother all the way from Seattle to Arizona. And I'm sorry, you had to make hard decisions to stay safe. But sometimes, you just have no other choice. Okay, this is the last roundup. Wait, let me say bye to Joanne. All right, I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. David. than me, but still, here it goes. It took me some time, but I think I get why you are who you are. Maybe we're not that different. It's like... A hopper. Please don't give up on your and Stranger what the Stranger Things season three? That's the best thing you've taught us. We'll reach you once we find our own freedom. Thank you so much. Oh, Nice. Very well. Stick on some dang tires. Should go see what David wants now. <laughs> Sean. Hey. Karen said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Come on. I'll join you when I'm done. So wasn't there a guy, uh, what was it? At the very end of season, or not season okay. three, but episode three? How I was like, work? 
We've got a place for cop killers like you. What are we? Hello? One four zero one six zero. This place has too many adults, but I'm gonna miss it. Wonder where David got this police scanner. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, we gotta search between 140 and 160. Hope you're having a lovely morning time. Nah. Yeah. Nothing to hear. Still not the right one. Come on. Another hit from the backwoods on Dusty Rock FM. Nah. Nothing to hear. American rock and roll. Hey. One thirty six. Listen. It would be weird to be back on the road with Daniel. Wait. Is this this it? Now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. <laughs> Thanks, David. You big rebel. Nice! I had no idea what I was doing. Go down. And your mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? Yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, Cross between these two stations. Now, you have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. Sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. You only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just honest. I know, Dave. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. Bro Don't talk. Where do you around? Bad habits die hard. And yes was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. Your experience forms you as a person. And I imagine all the shit you've seen and how it's changed you. Pretty much. Not comparing myself, but I had to go through my own hell. In war and at home. I didn't know how to deal.
deal with emotions or other people. Are you talking about your stepdaughter? Yeah. Some rich fucking kid shot her at school where I was supposed to protect her. What? Me and her hated each other on sight. But once I lost her, everything became clear. How selfish and stupid I'd been. I should have listened to Chloe instead of being a bully. Wait! All my fuck ups crystal clear now. But I'm not gonna fuck this up. It is! Sean, I'm gonna do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. I thought I recognized him. I'm be straight up with you. Okay? Yeah. Of course. And it's it's Chloe's stepdad, the freaking uh uh like security guard guy. I think there's no other It's way out. David. Big homie David. Control, right. But you and Daniel can't just hide What a out what a great about how you see little yourself. easter egg. You're still young. I bet they'd be lenient if you step up and face the law. You've come too far now. We just want a new life. That's it. I understand. I do. I'm trying to be the adult. You're too young to be dealing with all this. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So I know you're on the right path. Sorry, I really have to take this. How much is this in the future, though? Like, he looks much older. Like, he didn't have a beard. He didn't have the hair. He had, like, I mean, he had a small beard, but, like, it was just, like, a, like, scruff and then, like, a little mustache. What do I do now? Car. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna I I want to finish it, but I can't. I can't I can't finish it right now. I'm gonna finish it probably Friday. I'm gonna exit to the main menu. What a great Easter egg to end it off on, though. Ugh, this episode's been kind of slow. I don't know how to feel about it. I mean, obviously, I, I only played about like an hour of gameplay because you know I had like that call and then using the bathroom, but. It's, it's been an alright episode so far. That Easter egg made the episode for me. At least, you know, this half. It gave me, like, tingly feeling. But yeah. I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna see you guys Friday. For the... What I presume to be final episode. Of Life is Strange 2. And probably the entire franchise, uh, unless they make Life is Strange 3. I hope that comes out. Uh, I hope that comes out. Yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye